So I really want you to take this all in, okay? Watch this one, please. A Michigan lawmaker taking on toxic and baseless political smears against her in a fiery speech today. I'm talking about State Senator Mallory McMorrow responding after her colleague, fellow State Senator Lana Tice, sent out a fundraising email accusing her of wanting to, quote, groom and sexualize kindergartners. Tice also claiming that she wanted to teach eight-year-olds that they are responsible for slavery. None of that is true. The Senator McMorrow could have found her way into a political gutter responding to that. Instead, this is what she had to say. So I sat on it for a while wondering why me? And then I realized, because I am the biggest threat to your hollow, hateful scheme. Because you can't claim that you are targeting marginalized kids in the name of, quote, parental rights if another parent is standing up to say no. So then what? Then you dehumanize and marginalize me. You say that I'm one of them. You say she's a groomer. She supports pedophilia. She wants children to believe that they were responsible for slavery and to feel bad about themselves because they're white. So who am I? I am a straight, white, Christian, married, suburban mom who knows that the very notion that learning about slavery or redlining or systemic racism somehow means that children are being taught to feel bad or hate themselves because they are white is absolute nonsense. No child alive today is responsible for slavery. No one in this room is responsible for slavery. But each and every single one of us bears responsibility for writing the next chapter of history. Each and every single one of us decides what happens next and how we respond to history and the world around us. We are not responsible for the past. We also cannot change the past. We can't pretend that it didn't happen or deny people their very right to exist. I am a straight, white, Christian, married, suburban mom. I want my daughter to know that she is loved, supported, and seen for whoever she becomes. I want her to be curious, empathetic, and kind. I want every child in this state to feel seen, heard, and supported, not marginalized and targeted because they are not straight, white, and Christian. All right, now, Mallory McMorrow. I mean, thank you. I, 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 it could not have been said better. There she is live. She joins us now. Before we get started, I do have to say that our team reached Make out sense. to uh, State Senator Tice for a statement, haven't heard back. So let's get into this conversation. Again, we appreciate you joining us. Thank you for your words. What a speech that was. Why was it so important for you to respond with those, to those totally outrageous accusations by your colleague? It, it was important because, you know, whatever I felt in the moment where she accused me of grooming and pedophilia and all of the hateful things she said about me, I know that that pales in comparison to what it feels like to be a trans kid who just wants to play soccer and is being told right now that you are wrong and broken and a monster or a black kid in school that's trying to push out basic history and an understanding of what this country was built on for us to learn from. So I had to say something. And this, look, look this is not normal. This no. is not political. This is just no. ridiculousness. And, and, and people will accuse you or accuse me just for calling out the ridiculousness of this as being somehow liberal lefties. Is this what Republicans want to be? People who are just accused people, the accusations of grooming and pedophilia? I mean, but these accusations of grooming and pedophilia by someone on the right has become a mainstream, toxic, political tool in just the last few weeks. There are real world consequences to those baseless charges. What Absolutely, can whether or not this is whether or not this is what they want to be, this is what they are right now. This is the same type of fear-mongering and conspiracy theories that came out of QAnon, where the belief is that there's a Satanist cabal of pedophiles that's running the country and kidnapping children. And now that is the mainstream. We have one of our country's major political parties taking this messaging, using it to target marginalized kids. That is what they are right now, and we have to make it stop. You also talked about the manufactured outrage over critical race theory and slavery being taught in schools, and you talked about the 
um, about it based on your own experience as a parent. Explain that. I am frankly tired of Republicans claiming that they speak for suburban moms, right? This is an attempt to bring back votes. And I'll be upfront, you know, it was white women like me who elected Donald Trump into office and supported how we got here. And I know that they do not speak for me and they do not speak for many of us. And we have to stand up together and say, no, this isn't who we are. This isn't what we stand for. This isn't what we want for our kids. Your speech was very powerful, but these kinds of attacks, you know they won't go away overnight. How are you going to continue to, to blunt these super potent political tactics? Because there are a lot of people out there who believe this garbage, or at least they want to believe, and it's nothing but, it's just garbage. They, they do, and part of the point that I tried to make in the speech is that People like Senator Tice are taking advantage of her own supporters by lying to them, mm. by trying to convince people that all of the problems in your lives with your costs of health care or the roads or, or prices at the gas pump, that it is somehow somebody else's fault. That if you can redirect your hatred and anger, that that's going to fix it. And it's not. White so grievance. that's what we have to do. It, it is. And, you know, if tomorrow a trans kid wasn't allowed to play soccer, that wouldn't make people's lives any better. <laughs> Thank you, Senator. I appreciate it. I really do. Thank you, Don. Your message is very powerful. There should be more folks like you. And damn it, this is not political. This is not left or right. This is just asinine. It's stupid, it's crazy, and it's very, very dangerous. More people like... Well, and that's my hope, is we need, we need a lot more people like me to say it and say it loudly that hate won't win. And the news media needs to do it as well and not be afraid of being called uh, names or biased or liberal or what have you because it's just plain old wrong. So to my colleagues yes. out there, do the same thing. Carry that message. Do not let this go over. This is not what America should be about. Thank you. I appreciate it. You be well and be safe. Thanks so much.